If you are planning to mail your ballot for this year's election, today is your last day to get it into a mailbox to guarantee that it's going to make it to your county clerk's office before 7 o'clock on November 8th. If you can't get it in the mail today, you can also take it to a drop box before that 7 p.m. deadline on Election Day. We have a map of all the state's drop boxes and in-person voting locations on 9news.com. Today, the Justice Department filed federal charges against the man accused of attacking Nancy Pelosi's husband. And we're now just eight days left until the midterm election. And there are more and more growing concerns about political rhetoric in America and our divisive political climate with the control of Congress hanging in the balance. Here's NBC's Jay Gray in Washington. But I'm the one who can get it done. Closing arguments. Join us in healing and unifying. Candidates making their case to voters just eight days ahead of the critical midterm elections. Neither party with a clear lead in the closing run. This can be really cr close on election night and perhaps beyond. So close, both sides have called in heavy hitters to help sway the undecided. Former Presidents Trump and Obama on the campaign trail, while the current president, with a sagging approval rating, is taking a bit of a back seat. This is not a referendum, it's a choice. A choice, many voters say, has become increasingly difficult. We used to vote for who was the best candidate, now we vote for who's not the worst. worst right? The mudslinging and rhetoric at an all-time high, and now framed by the attack on Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband. The Justice Department this afternoon charging suspect David DePap with assault and kidnapping charges. We've also learned he was carrying zip ties and duct tape during the attack while screaming, where's Nancy? Echoing calls. Where are you, Nancy? During the January 6th insurgents at the Capitol, investigators say DePap was very active on social media with posts and a blog focused on far-right extremism. Both parties now calling for calm. We've got to do everything we can to lower the rhetoric. With concern, things could get even worse. We shouldn't wait until someone dies before collectively we all say, hey, we've got to calm down. During the heated final days of some heavily contested elections. Jay Gray, NBC News, Washington.